Mr. Mnago, thanks for your time. How reliable is your information that Zandile Gumede is about to be uh, appointed to chair the COCTA portfolio committee in the KZN legislature? Morning, Toli, and morning to the viewers. Yes, uh, Toli, I can confirm that um, I have been reliably informed about the INC decision to deploy Zandile Gumede is a new chairperson of COCTA Portfolio Committee. And I can assure you clearly that I have actually seen myself, I do have a copy mm -hmm. of a correspondency from the chief whip to the officials, coordinators of committees, informing them of such. So the ANC can deny as much as they want. Mm. All I know is today, half past 10, there is a COCTA Portfolio Committee. The ANC was intending to appoint Zanili Kumed as the chairperson of COCTA. Mm. And all we are saying is, we are aware of this move, and they must just stop this move, because mm. we don't believe that someone with such serious allegations and someone the ANC claim was removed for performance can then be given a high responsibility yeah. of ensuring that she holds the municipalities to account and hold the MEC to account in terms of good governance. We don't believe that someone like Zanzibar Gomez can have any authority or ground to hold a, a special account. Before we talk, denying... before we go further, uh, we're going to come to that point that you are making now, but I want us to trace our steps back a little about this intended appointment uh, for her to chair this portfolio committee. The Premier, Sikhle Zigalala, last week is on record as saying Ms. Gumede is going to be an ordinary member of the provincial parliament. Are you saying that his word is not final on this matter? That is why, Tolly, on my post yesterday, I said the ANC Premier and the Chairperson have lied to the floor of Kozuna Tal because it's a lie. Now, there are two things, uh, Tolly, here. It's either the, the Premier as the chair of the ANC is misleading the public mm. or again it's factions because i can tell you there is a communication from the chief whip the chief whip is deployed by the anc now you hear and on the side uh, saying the deployment committee have not decided so all i'm saying is i don't know how the anc process works all i can talk about is what happened in legislature inside mm. the legislature i can say there is a communication from the chief whip to officials officials have been informed of this decision that Daniel Kumete will be the state of COP, Daniel Kumete will be part of the committee that mm -hmm. I see from the Premier Committee. So she is serving on two committees. One, the Premier Committee, where I'm a member of, I will be with her in that committee. Mm -hmm. The other committee, there is a culture where she will be chairing that committee. All and right. I can tell you, Tony, she was supposed to be elected today at half past 10 yeah. in the meeting. It's very interesting indeed what you are saying, and we're going to have to see if we can get the ANC KZN uh, to respond to what you are telling us here and now. Let's talk about uh, this all-important portfolio committee of uh, COCTA. This is the Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs uh, Committee, and it's the committee that oversees the work of municipalities across the entire province of KZN. The point you were making earlier was that she was removed as mayor of the only metro in KZN, which is Eteguini, and this was based on poor performance. If that is the issue, how does it make sense to remove her as mayor where she's underperforming, where she will now have municipalities answering to her for poor performance? Sorry, that is exactly uh, our argument to say whether you removed Bandi as a mayor due to corruption or due to poor performance. Either, either way, end of the day, those two reasons will never give you any justification as to why you will appoint her as a chairperson of such a portfolio committee, which is very critical in terms of good governance in the province. Mm. But all we can say is only, we see here uh, where political sectionalism supersedes ethics and morality. Because as much as ANC can argue, and say it is not uh, guilty up until proven guilty by court of law. But the point here is, ethically and morally, can anyone justify that someone who has been removed due to corruption or removed due to performance can be given higher responsibility of chairing a portfolio committee 
where she need to ensure that municipalities are held to account, then where do you able to draw a line in terms of accountability when yourself as a chairperson, you've yeah. been compromised? Let I don't me... believe she can give an authority to talk about corruption in municipalities. Very briefly, very briefly for me, Mr. Ngongo, we're out of time. But if indeed Ms. Gumete does find herself as chair of COCTA in the provincial legislature, this decision, does it demonstrate care for the people of KZN who experience local government firsthand? And importantly, what's your role as the opposition on a matter like this one? What, what is it that you, you can do? Look, already, uh, so I can confirm that we are actually calling for a debate around the issues of ethics and morality. Because we can, they can always argue about legality, whether the constitution says she can stand, she can stand, she can, she can be appointed in any position. But we are saying, let's have a debate around ethics and, and these values, important values, when it comes to good governance, of ethics and morality. Can we have a debate in the legislature? That's a debate we are calling. But again, end of the day, this shows that ANC in KZN undermines the intelligence of our people in the province to end up believing that just because someone is moving from ATM into the data, it's not a promotion. Mm -hmm. I can hear even the, the, the post person saying, no, it's not a promotion. It is a promotion. When you go to legislature, you are going to a higher structure. This is why for three years of government, a local government, a, 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 a provincial government is a mixed sphere of government. So meaning for local, provincial, national. So you are being promoted. Mm -hmm. That is why you're saying the ANC undermine our people, but end of the day, actually, it's our people who can now put a stop to this uh, arrogant ANC. Any, anyway, it's shown arrogant. She herself said the ANC comes first before the citizen of this country. Herself. So that tells you the arrogance within the ANC. So we are saying it's up to us now as citizens. Stand up. Let's not let's stop complaining. Let's do something about, about this challenge we are facing in this country. All right. Uh, Swagalim Ngango is the leader of the Democratic Alliance and uh, talking to us from uh, Guanongoma in KZN.